Okay, so this is going to be just a relatively short video. I uh, haven't done one in a while. I've been experimenting. I got a, a new used mount from one of my friends, uh, Celestron AVX. I'm using that to run my Red Cat and the uh, guide scope. I did get a filter wheel. This is a five position one. And I'm using an old ASI, well, old, relatively, ASI Air from uh, two Christmases ago that my wife got me. I haven't been using it because, uh, well, I have my observatory and it doesn't control my dome, but I'm getting ready to go to the Black Forest Star Party at Cherry Springs. And I got my two mounts all set up. I've been test running them. The last couple nights, uh, the night before last worked real well. Last night, it's pretty clear today, but there's some smoke from a wildfire coming over Pennsylvania. And last night, it just, uh, the scene was just horrible. So the, the stuff I did last night didn't work. But um, very happy with the ASI Air. They've made some changes since I used it last. Uh, works really well. Uh, does Meridian flips. Very happy. Uh, keeps all the photos, runs the AVX. It's a little tricky. This is, I guess, an older mount. There's a couple of things you have to do first. Maybe I'll put that in another video if anybody has any questions, but uh, you do have to set the mount up first before you turn the ASI air on or it, it doesn't communicate right. But um, I did get a new camera. I sold my uh, ASI 294 MC and bought a um, ASI 183 MC because that combination works better with the Red Cat. Uh, I was getting under sampling uh, with the 294 MC with the Red Cat and this seems to be working much better. It's a little bit smaller of a sensor so um, it does a pretty good job of uh, doing astrophotography. Now, I did make some changes on my Orion also. Again, I'm getting this all set up for transport. Camper's right here. That's coming up with me to the Cherry Springs, but I'm going to be tearing this apart here in a couple seconds. I got a new ASI Air Pro. We managed to get one from um, a Gina astrophotography when they had 10 in stock that lasted like a day <laughs> I just timed it perfect and I also got the automatic focuser with this uh, works pretty well it, it um, takes some experimenting and getting used to but now that you, once you get that set up it's, it's so nice <laughs> it just uh does everything automatically. I may eventually get one for this scope, uh, but right now I don't have it. And on my last video, as you can see, I, I still use the off-axis guider that I set up. Works real well. Uh, kind of a kind of a pain in the neck to set up, but once you get it all focused in, you don't have to mess with it. Once I take the scope out, I'm going to be very careful not to bump that. I, the last thing I want to do is. I uh, have to redo all that. And again, I got a 7 position filter wheel uh, for this scope and my 294 MM Pro. And I do LRGB with this. Uh, works out pretty well. Um, one problem I did have now that I split this into two scopes, I, I used to, instead of using the off-axis guider, I used to use this guiding setup. Um, but now, my dew heater, and it's going to be an issue up there. I have a dew heater for my Orion, and I used to have another connection for this, but I don't have a dew heater controller over here. So I'm going to probably have some uh, do issues with this. I actually had a poor man's 
I can't find it now. Wind probably blew it away. I, I actually used to... This is kind of funny, but it worked. A poor man's um, dew shield. I put a, a toilet uh, roll... Uh, the inside of that, the, what we used to call the doo doo, I don't know what it is, and it's the, the roll holder over top of this, and it worked really well. So I might try that up there if I don't uh, find some way uh, to. Uh, they do have some salesmen up there. Maybe I'll get a uh, another dew heater set up for this one, but I don't know. Um. I'd like to take this off and maybe my friend up there can help me with this he's talking about maybe rewiring this but this is my dew heater controller I'd like to hook that up to one of the ASI airports but I don't have the right, the right uh, connector right now this I'll show you here this this is a good dew heater by the way if you ever thousand oaks if you need a dew heater I highly recommend them it's Four separate controls, but this is connects into there, and that won't connect into the ASI air. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to well, maybe hook that up there. I don't know. I'm a, I'm not an electrician, so um, I'm not sure exactly how to do that. He he said he might be able to do it, and I might take him up on that. There's one other thing I want to show you, and I'll put my picture of the pelican nebula on this is inside my garage Let me turn the light on here I did and again I'm not an electrician but I made this little control box I got tired of uh, the setup like this this is for the other the oops, the AVX mount that was a hammer the AVX mount I only have a couple adapters is not a big deal but this for my Orion there's so many plugs I end up having uh, three or four different things plugged in so I'm, I made this box I'm gonna put it in plastic it's not waterproof of course but uh, I basically put the input into a power switch and then the output put from the power switch into a surge protector which I mounted inside the box and then I wired via some plugs and wires um, from there plugs that I can plug into the surge protector and put into the two different outlets so I have all surge protected power in here it worked two nights in a row without an issue it's actually kind of happy with it doesn't doesn't look real good, <laughs> but what the heck, it, it functional. I'm one of those guys, functional is good. Of course, off on. Um, it's, I picked a nice stiff switch so I wouldn't accidentally bump it with my foot or something. But uh, it works nice. I, and I like the fact that I have the outlets on the top um, where I can have easy access and I have two of the cigarette plug-ins that I plug into that and then I have the, the uh, ASI air power source in here and the mount power source also but uh, so that was kind of fun that took me about six hours to build like I said I'm not an electrician so let's just say I unplugged everything before I plugged this in and then gently plugged it in to, <laughs> to make sure there wasn't any sparks and explosions but it worked real well i mean i'm i'm confident in electronic depression or being an electrician but um not too much so <laughs> we'll just leave it at that so i'll be looking forward to taking some videos at cherry springs during the black forest star party the uh um weather at this point is eh, iffy 50 50 maybe at best but i'm looking forward to uh taking the two scopes up there i'm going to shoot uh the helix nebula and probably something on orion because helix comes up at 
um, sunset and sets around uh, one. So I'm going to do that with my Orion and then from one to sunrise, I don't know, maybe Horsehead or something like that, but uh, something around Orion I think I'm going to try. And then I stole my friend's idea for my red cat. He's going for the squid, the batten squid. I'm going to spend the whole uh, time I'm up there any clear night with my red cat doing the batten squid, see how it turns out. Hopefully I can get some of the blue from the squid with my oxygen filter that I have. So that was just a quick update. And again, I'll add my um, pelican and any other video. The ones I took last night, I don't think are going to work too well. I did the uh, uh, witch's broom, the solar, I mean the uh, uh, the nebula, which is broom with a crescent on the other side, that type of thing. I can't remember the whole name of it anymore. It's been a long night. <laughs> but I don't think they're going to turn out too, awake cause they're too good because uh, Sing was horrible last night. But the one I did before uh, with my Ryan the Pelican turned out pretty darn good. And I uh, hope to hear from you again. If you like the videos that I'm making, be sure to subscribe. And if you want, um, I'll even take the, if, if somebody wants to see what's inside here, I'll take the screws out. It's only four or five screws, maybe. I'll show you what I did on the inside there. Um, homemade works. I like it. It's a lot easier to pick that box up than it is to pick up a surge protector with 20 different plugs in it, the way it seemed anyway. So you have a good day. And like I said, if you like them, subscribe and like it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free. You have a good day and clear skies.